What's the point in a desktop theme if you don't change it at appropriate times of the year? Well, seen as it's some kind of Halloween-ish season, it felt appropriate to update my Windows 98 desktop to a spookish theme. Don't tell me you didn't do this, or even that you still don't do it, because I won't believe you. If the season was right and there was a cover disc with a season relevant app, wallpaper or screensaver on it, then you can bet your rear end that it would be on my desktop quicker than a toilet stop in rattlesnake country. So let's get to it, using the standard fare of Microsoft applications. Here's my Windows 98 desktop. I for one think it's rather nice, but I tell you what would make it nicer. The Windows 98 Plus Pack. So what do we get with this pack? Well first, we have a few utilities for general maintenance, including McAfee Virus Scan 3.0. We have zip file integration now built into the operating system, which is rather nice. We also get Microsoft Golf 98 Lite, Lose Your Marbles and Spider Solitaire. But what I'm really interested in is desktop themes. Ah yes, the utility which allowed you to change a whole array of aesthetics and sounds at a click of a button. I had a ton of fun making my own, but out of the standard fare, inside your computer was always my favourite. Just listen to those system sounds, and that wallpaper. <sighs> Still with it being the season that it is, the horror channel theme is the most appropriate. But that wallpaper just doesn't fit. My preference is the mystery wallpaper. Now this theme could easily do the spooky job itself, but by deselecting the wallpaper checkbox we can go full horror just with the better wallpaper. Lovely job. We have a variety of delightful sounds with this theme, along with a walking Frankenstein's monster as the busy mouse cursor. Check out the My Documents folder with blood oozing from inside. Nice. Apparently by the way, these themes will still work with Windows 7 through compatibility mode, but I'm staying firmly in the 90s for this episode. Another feature of the Horror Channel theme I'm not too keen on is the screensaver. The standard fare is just a slideshow of old horror movie stills. What's better is the mystery screensaver that comes as standard with Windows 98. Now I know a lot of you remember this. As screensavers go in the conventional sense, this is pretty rubbish, as it consists of a static house taking up most of your screen. But the likelihood of getting screen burn on a monitor from this period was unlikely anyway. What we do get are a few bats flying around, the odd cat and this bloke in the front room who I remember very clearly. Alrighty then, that's everything pretty much set up. We are now horrified. Of course, if we wanted to horrify ourselves even more, we could always fire up Internet Explorer 5. That's pretty horrific just by itself. Ah, look, alone in the dark. That's rather fitting. I might actually use that as the wallpaper. A quick resize, and yes, I feel thoroughly halloween and ready to continue doing whatever I'd usually do in Windows 98, probably some sort of new multimedia CD or something. Actually, let's do a bit of Spider Solitaire, I reckon, if I can work out how to play it. Anyway, that's Windows 98 set up. I guess I'll see you again at Christmas. Have a good evening. <laughs>